Hello, my name is Karx82 and welcome back to my Grog Tech New Horizon series. I've just got a couple things going on here. Um, last episode we left off over here and I'm pretty sure these are turned off because we're out of salt. Although we are actually not out of salt. So what did we run out of here? That is... Turning that off, is it stem cells? It may be... Yep, stem cells. I definitely need, for these four things to be running, I kind of need, I've noticed that I kind of need to have all my stuff running. Like we need the stem cells, so I need the chickens being produced, and I need kind of need the phosphorus being produced, and I need salt being produced, because this like tears through salt. I have a whole bunch of it because I get I get an absolute ton of it from the salt bee, which is pretty cool. You can see I'm up to 74,000. I had almost none about an hour ago. But as soon as I like turn off whatever the thing, so I turned off my chicken thing, we went through that and like, I think I had 10,000 in here. Yeah, it's completely empty. So I'm going to need to, let me see, yeah, disassembler. Oh, I wish this worked in the processing array, but unfortunately it does not. Um, I may I may have to get like a second one to keep up because when I have the chicken thing, this kind of like this runs out of room like pretty quick because we're getting so many of those eggs. Hmm. I don't think there's... Is there any other way to get these stem cells? No. That is terrible. Yeah, I mean, that's not worth it. <laughs> Infinity Catalyst Dust and Radon to get... What would that be? 32,000 when you get... That eight, 16 per thousand. Yeah, that's terrible. So I think I'm going to have to just build more disassemblers. Is there, hmm. I mean, other than, other than the infinity chest, which is so insanely expensive, we're nowhere near it. I wonder if there is, yeah, I mean, it's not horrible. This is a pain, but these things, really, <laughs> for UEV tier circuits, times how many? I mean, that's insane. Um, I don't think this will work in a regular yeah, they wouldn't work in a like a quantum chest either because they're all different all different things. I don't know. I'm going to have to figure out if there's a better way to store these cuz like I said, after, I don't know, like 20 minutes it gets completely it gets backed up. So, why don't we go ahead and turn that back on while our here. One. Apparently I have uh <laughs> bones. I totally forgot that was running. Alright, I just need to lower that because I don't want to lose the the thing when I break it. Yeah, unfortunately it doesn't quite reach, but oh well. Yeah, let's just, I guess we could just do six. Well, 
I don't want it to, like, if I break stuff over here, I don't want to, like, lose it to that. So let's just keep it on five. All right. Avoided all that stuff. And I've also... Put on. Yeah, okay, it's on. It didn't look like it was on. Oh, right. I turned on particles. That's why. Let me put those back on again. Um, yeah, there we go. I turned that on. <laughs> that is just too funny. But as we can see, that is why <laughs> I'm running out of, uh, I run out of room really fast. The egg. Yeah, there we go. I thought there were giant eggs. Yeah. So this thing, yeah, like I said, this just fills up so fast. But anyway, um, enough of that. I've been going on about this for a while. Yeah. I don't know what the, the limit on this thing is anyway. But yeah, as we can see, it's filling up so quick. Anyway, we'll just leave that to kind of do its thing. I guess they can just start filling up the A system. I don't know. We'll leave it. Um, but what I have been kind of working on is getting some more bees. And I got plutonium, finally. And unfortunately, the plutonium requires an end flower which is a dragon egg. So I need to actually craft up a dragon egg, and I haven't done this yet. And uh, there is actually a, I believe there is, there's a quest somewhere for it. I don't remember, maybe in here. Eevee. Yeah, right here. So I was kind of working towards it. You basically need a... Like a big egg, which is growth medium with a spawn egg, and you get a big egg, and then you can put some mutagen with some uranium, and you get a mutated ender, endium, ender egg, so on and so forth. And then you get an rich draconium egg, and then mix it with that. So I, I was trying to do, I started doing it before, but I didn't have any mutagen, but we are good on mutagen now. So I think we can finally go ahead and do that. Yeah, I have 39 buckets of it now, so. Why don't we go ahead and craft up a dragon egg so we can see how that works. So that's, you have that in there. And we need uranium. I do have some in there. Fortunately, I need to wear this. And I really need to finish up my hazmat suit or my infinity element. It just, I just don't have enough time uh, to record an episode and do extra stuff, all the extra stuff that we need to do for the infinity. Um, chest will be next, I think. All right, uh, so uranium. And that just goes, it just goes in a thing, doesn't it? Yeah, uh, chemical reactor? Yeah. Oh, it does need to be in a clean room. But that's not a problem. I can just do it in a something. Where can I do this? I need to do this in a large chemical reactor. I th think I can just do it in here. If I remember correctly, I... Did I have... I can't remember if I... No, maybe I can't. It. I did have a thing I could do it in. I can't remember which chemical reactor I was doing it in. Let me, uh, I may need to just craft up another chemical reactor or add a couple hatches here. I need one with an imp a fluid hatch is basically what we need. 
Yeah, let me craft up a input bus really quick and we'll be right back. All right, I forgot it was this one. There is the hatch and I just basically <laughs> did that. Throw this back in the A system, but that should, yeah. All right, so that's only 14 seconds, nice. And that will just fill those back up again. So the next part is, what do we need? Need to do Ender and Endium. There is our mutated egg. Don't really need either of those. So mutated egg, Endium dust, and then I guess we can just, I'll just pulverize this down. I don't think I'm going to use it for anything else. I I just put it in the the multi block would be faster. I need to. <laughs> I don't like not being able to run fast. Here. And four ender pearls. Right? Those are two fifty you get from, right? Or is it one twenty five you get from these? I don't remember. Yeah, 250. All right, that's not bad. That's endium. That's a bit annoying here. Let me just switch that out really quick. There we go, that should, yeah, there we go. And again, we'll just put it in here and we will, oh my goodness, do that. It should start. Yep. And that is the ender egg. The last bit, 64 draconium ender goo. I, I think I have that, don't I? Oh, I don't remember. I think I had, didn't I, oh man, did I void it all? That'll be so annoying. I mean, I can just fly to the end, but that is annoying. I just voided it all. I think I did. All right, let me fly to the end really quick and get some ender goo. And we are back, there is the ender egg. And last thing we need, that, that, that. Let's get an enriched egg. And, and then I can, I can go ahead and put the undergo in there. I think this should be it, right? Yep, there we go, nice. I hate when that ends up in there. And the last thing we need is... What do we need, the last thing? Molten Endirium. Man, that's annoying. A thousand. Yeah, we're gonna end up like a weird amount. Yeah, I hate when... I hate when they do metals with like a, a thousand kind of thing. So there is that, and then Ethereum. It's our enriched dragon egg. It is Ethereum, right? Yeah, Enderium.
Is that Enderium? That looks different. Enderium Molten. Molten Enderium. It's sort of like... Alright, which one is this? Molten Enderium, Enderium Molten. <laughs> well, I have no idea. Which one does the Enderium Molten? So it wants this. It's the same thing, right? Sort of? No? It. This is really weird. I don't know. Let's. I don't really care about the thing. I don't. I'm not bothered about the quest. Let's see if this actually works in the thing. I feel like it's not gonna work. Because I think that's a different. I feel like that's a different. Different fluid. Yeah, it doesn't look like it's gonna work. Hmm. Right, let me uh, sort this out and we'll be right back. All right, I got a... I put two of the gears in there because that's what it said we needed. I'm trying to do. Yeah, it's not. I don't know how to get this Enderium other than just cheating it in. It's so weird. There's like random, like, what? Why is this popping up for this? I don't know. This is just very weird. I feel like there's definitely something screwy with this. Yeah, because that's not the right one. All right. I may just have to. I don't know. I can't even. Oh, wait. That's. No, I have that. Yeah, I can't even get that out. It looks like. Um, yeah, that won't even pour out. All right, I'm going to have to, I just have, I guess we'll just have to cheat in that thing. I have no idea how else, there's no candy recipe or anything for that, right? What is it? Enderium and a dragon art. Yeah, it does. I don't think it's supposed to be some difficult. <laughs> I don't really think that's supposed to be difficult. All right, so I guess we have. I have my thousand and Enderium right there, so we'll just kind of switch it out. So let's just void that. That was the Enderium that we needed. And I guess we'll just have to. Try this one. Does that work? Yeah, see that works. So, yep, that is... I guess buggy. Alright, and there it goes. It shouldn't... No, it doesn't use the, the heart up. Alright, nice. Alright, so there is the dragon egg. And that is the way you get multiple dragon eggs, because uh, there's none of that, like, respawning it or whatever. I think you can do it through Hardcore Ender expansion, but this is kind of like the tech way to get the dragon egg, I believe. Don't quote me on that. But, all right, there is that. Should be these. Let me just make sure... Oh, and this is why I turned off particles, because <laughs> I keep getting the swiftness buff when I come over here, and those particles are really annoying. All right, so they don't have, like, an effect. I was worried there'd be, like, some crazy effect, but it doesn't. All right, I need... Unfortunately, when I do the, the mut mutagenic frames, it turned it from... It was a pristine, and it turned it into ignoble, unfortunately. So I'm going to have to read this up a couple times so we can get another pristine. 
but probably not gonna work. Yeah. Ooh, it's one of those. Dang it. Yeah, no flower, not dark enough, too hot. All right, I'm gonna have to breed that with the uh, with a better bee, so I can get some better things. But there is the dragon egg. Let's just make sure. Throw it kind of back here, I guess. Right there. I need to have this flowing water. I don't know. And if you right click that, it doesn't like teleport all over, so I don't want to do that. <clears throat> Flowers should. Do. All right, so I'm going to have to continue breeding up here. So let me uh, come back and. Yeah, and while we're also doing that, I think. Yeah, we're good now. With this, why are you not running? Is it just not producing enough? And it may not be producing enough stem cells, yeah. Hmm. And here we go. It is full up with eggs. So we are at the limit of the eggs that can go in there. And yeah, I got to figure out a better solution for that. So a couple things we're going to have to sort out here. And I just want to point out, I have the I had the queen going in this world. I can actually speed it up, which is pretty cool. But uh, yeah, it just looks like we just lost the princess, the noble, but we did get 12 drones out of it. Um, I attempted to do a pristine with the hermetic pristine, and it got all kind of messed up. So I just ended up uh, getting some drones, and thankfully we got enough before the thing died. But anyway, just wanted to point that out. So let me cut here, and we'll come back uh, in a bit. All right, we are back, and I think I got everything for the bioprocessors. I just had just enough of the bio cells to make two more of those. And I think uh, we got everything that. Nano. Good on that. What's the last thing? 64. Let's do another 60. So that goes in there. I do. It's a UV, right? Yeah, I'm pretty sure it's UV in the or something. Oof, 20 seconds. I don't even want to know. Well, it's only 30. That's actually not that bad. Ooh, there we go for our first bioprocessor. Uh, feels bad, but yeah, it's kind of the way it goes, doesn't it? Yeah, this is. And there we go. We are making our very first bioprocessor. Feels pretty cool. It feels pretty good. And I'm kind of noticing I have. This disassembler definitely does not go fast enough, but I'm also thinking I maybe I should just not even worry about having a, a chest. I think I can just leave those in. Can't I just leave those in the A system? I don't know. I had a whole bunch of giant, I had like 2,000 of them in here, and I don't think they take up like, I don't think each one takes up a a thing actually no because oh yeah that's what i'll do i'll just yeah i'll just once these are done i'll just have it directly input into the thing i don't even need to do all this because yeah before it even they're all the same before they get put into the robot it's when they get the mbt data or whatever it's called mbt or is it yeah i think it's mbt data that's what gives it the uh, that. But before that, they're all just, it says like zero, zero ounce, whatever. Yeah, 
they'll all be exactly the same. So that's what I'll do. I'll just leave them in the air. I don't even need to have like in a, a thing, but I definitely don't make, I only have enough for, yeah, by the time it like fills these up, I only have enough for three. I, the fourth one's never turning on. The two are running almost constantly, but the third one only works when these fill up. So definitely going to have to get a, another disassembler. Yeah, I I thought they were expensive. Four robot arms. That's a lot of circuits. But anyway, we'll think about that. I'll do that in between. So it's oh, there we go. We got our bioprocessor, uh, and there we go. Oh, that. I mean, how many episodes did it take to finally get everything to craft up a bioprocessor? And the funny thing is, it's only ZPM tier. But I think we're going to need to create the imprint so we can go ahead and... Um, so we can go ahead and get these crafting up on the, the things. So we should be able to... Do I have a... This is this is UV, isn't it? I'm now. I'm just thinking. Can I even put this in a? It needs to be ZPM. All right, so I can. What? Although, what was the? Wait. This is. I could just hook this up to here. What am I doing? Right. Yeah, UV. It. let's yeah let's just put it right here yeah there we go and that should be the imprint and then i have everything else for yeah so there's the bioprocessor have Everything else are press pestiolite and these things. So there we go. There is the circuit imprint for the bioprocessor. Uh, I do not have the circuit assembly line crafted up yet. What does it just need? It needs UV. So, yeah, UV. So I'm going to have to do that. I guess, I think I'm just going to just throw it on the end of this, maybe. Yeah, I'll just throw it on the end of this. Make a super long... Hmm. That's a bit annoying, actually, because, yeah. I switch... I don't know. I'm going to have to figure this out <laughs> where I'm going to put this. Maybe I'll put it back here. Although, yeah. It's going to have to be the six long. You know, I'll probably just put it on the end. Maybe I'll just upgrade all these while I'm at it with the uh, UV. How many do I have? I do have three. I have to do five more or two more. Yeah, I might as well do that because that'll speed that up anyway. All right, so circuit assembly line got to craft up, and I'm gonna have to craft up a another disassembler. So that's another thing, and I'm going to finish up now that we have plutonium bees. I can finally get the last one, which is the Nequada, and Yeah, I have plutonium, I have iridium, I can finally do Nequada. And that will let me get the Mutatron. 
Sure, so there is the plutonium that we need. We got that. Yeah, we need an aquata there. There, and I think we have everything else. We have the mutagen, we have the these we can craft up. Yeah, we can actually craft up. Yeah, all right, so that would be really cool because then I can finally get some, uh, I'll probably get neutronium right away and then just immediately kind of like upgrade this. That's kind of what I'm thinking. Because I have everything. I just need the neutronium combs and that's going to take a second. But yeah, I don't have any of these, so I got to do a bit more breeding, but I'm going to use the Mutron to get those. But uh, that's kind of what I'm thinking. And uh, yeah, then we'll get the Lapatron bees. So that, yeah, it does use 5,000, quite a lot, but yeah, I'm looking forward to this. Does this need anything? Diamond plate? Nope. Molten glass? Easy enough. All right. So feeling pretty good here. We are moving forward. So let's go ahead and, well, now I probably won't be able to craft that up quite yet <laughs> because we're going to need 16 of these to do that. So nah, not quite there yet, but, uh. Yeah, I want to get that all crafted up and everything, so ready to go uh, for that. And then, yeah, we'll move on from there. So thanks for watching, and have a good one.